But yeah, my first passion was like being a uh, orthopedic surgeon. Yeah, so <laughs> every <laughs> hard, every yeah, yeah. hard. But how valuable, like valuable, do you think work? No, oh, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. In this week's episode, we're doing another interview. We're gonna be interviewing another D1 student. His name is Sonny. He's in my class. An amazing story, an amazing guy. We're gonna be talking about the importance of shadowing, the importance of dental assisting when it comes to your journey and your road to applying for dental school. So without further ado, I'm gonna have Sonny introduce himself. Sonny, come in the frame, man. Welcome. 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 Yo, thanks for doing this. Sonny and I met like uh, about a couple of weeks before orientation started, so mid July. Orientation started at the end of July. We started talking. Really love his story. Really love the energy that he brings to the table. Your passion, like what kept you going throughout the the hard moments, your your love, your vision for the field of dentistry. Okay. Yeah. So uh, first of all, um, I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, Queen City, stand up. Um, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't really remember. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, remember. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> My dad's also named Sonny. I'm actually a junior. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty nice. Nah, 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 <laughs> try to keep on the low though. But um, uh, he's also a dentist. Um, that's actually how I got into this field. Um, when I was actually 15, I uh, went started like coming in and. Shadowing him, I didn't even know what my dad did. So I'm 15 years old. Yeah, around 15 years old. Like I, I, I didn't know what a dentist was. Like I just thought they were just, they just. So your dad, like when you saw your dad, was it just like dad's going to work, dad's coming home? Yeah, you yeah. didn't really have an awareness of like what he was really doing. Yeah, I had no idea. Yeah. So, so when you at that age, like 15, right? Were your mind after you saw that experience right there? Mm -hmm. Um beforehand yeah were you ever thinking about like well 15 is pretty young yeah yeah it's very young because well actually when i was 15 like i knew i wanted to go into like medicine so like okay. um when i was like 13 14 i went to like a national leadership of uh, for like high school students that were interested in medicine and to uh, get like uh, exposure to yeah, it, they, they have those classes, yeah, to get and they're, they're titled differently. Like for me, it was like academy dental assistant academy okay. class where you yeah. can take the class and mm -hmm. learn how to be a dental assistant, yeah. build a resume, and yeah. start out of high school working exactly. yeah. like that. Yeah, so nice, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, my first passion was like being a uh, orthopedic surgeon, yeah, so <laughs> every high, every high, every high, but, uh, yeah, that was, my, that was my first passion. Um, so medicine, you started off with the medical, like yeah. medicine field. Like what age did that turn for you? Uh, so literally I'll say after working or going in and learning what my dad does and shadowing him and working in the front office and just like uh, interacting with patients. The exposure. Yeah, the exposure with yeah, patients. inside look. Right. I was like, okay. Yeah, I might I might have to take a, some type of interest in this. So that's gonna like take us into our next our main question, our mm -hmm. number one question. Yeah. So you worked, you didn't like part you didn't shadow. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you really. your dad had an office, you yeah. had the opportunity and you mm -hmm. got hands on. Right. Back scene, you saw everything. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's what we go into, right? That's gonna be our first question. Okay. How valuable do you think? Not just like standing chair side and observing, right. but how value do, like valuable do you think working? at an office is right. compared to just like signing up for two hours, mm -hmm. following around and shadowing a doctor. Yeah. The amount of time you put in is the amount of time you're going to get out. Like if I wasn't going in and shadowing my dad or orthodontist or uh, oral surgeons or even endodontist, uh, I wouldn't know certain types of like exposures. I, I, like my dad does like root canals as well. Like right. he's a general dentist. Right. But like shout out endodontist who specializes in uh, root canals, right? You see a lot of like a certain like types of technology that they use. You feel me? Like so, you you got a lot of uh, exposure, exposure, insight, and, and insight. Yeah. So for your dad, you're really going there morning to afternoon, like morning to night, whatever right, the hours right, may be. Right. And I feel like that dedication that you put to the game, right? Did it feel like work to you or did it feel more of like, this is where I want to be, this is yeah. where I want to belong and I'm going to learn as much as I can mm -hmm. and use this as like my vision, my inspiration for 
my journey, my academic right. journey to where you are today. Right. You know, which is like right. you made it. You know, you've made it in, yeah. and now you know we're going to start school, and we're, right. we've already gone gone on a roll. So right, exactly, did that moment, that work, that hands on, mm. those that new technology, those interactions, patient interaction, mm. was that always in the back of your mind? Like this is it. Right. We're, we're we're going. Yes, and we're not stopping. Do it yet. Exactly. Uh, yeah, that's exactly how I felt. Like at first when I was like 15 going in and shadow, I was like, ah, I don't want to do this. Like I got to wake up and, and, but I mean, it was an extra dollar. Like I was getting paid and stuff like that. But once like I decided, I was like, yeah, I, this is something I really want to do. Then I was like, yeah, it like wake up. You you felt like happy to like get up early in the morning and work it. And that also the system, right? you get to see certain things going on. When you were like outside or like just looking in, just shadowing, like you don't really see a lot what's going on. You don't know, like, oh, right? you're not, you're not, you don't know what they're using. Yeah, you don't you know, know, what know what's using. going on, what process they are from right. like the moment the patient sits to the, right. they leave. Right. You don't know anything. You don't you're know just anything. there like write down the hours and dip. Right. Exactly. Really, honestly. Yeah, exactly. You literally, you're just standing for like maybe two or three hours just or is just, just like observing. You're not really, you might ask certain questions, but you might not be able to like see certain things that's going on in the mouth and like ask certain questions from that. Like, cause you're, you're outside of the scope and you look at and you're like, I don't know what's going on. But so, when you're assisting, you, you sell a lot. Yeah. So it's saying, so like you see your dad with General Dennis, mm -hmm. he does root canals. That's mm -hmm. my next question to you. Like mm -hmm. how important is working like every summer like this like for me every summer yeah i would be working a new job right. whether it was oral surgery right. pediatrics and then mm -hmm. like my last couple of years of college i found an office that did both like right. general okay. dentistry pediatrics right oh, wow. so how important do you think variety mm -hmm. of job experience or even like shadowing is for application purposes okay. not just that one office or one shadowing department or institution but going to multiple different offices every summer right. and working, getting more, how, how important is that for variety purposes on application? I would say that's very important because uh, coming to dental school, even if you do it like, when you do get accepted, get accepted, I feel like later on those certain skills or certain experiences will apply to like your everyday learning skill. Like, so working at a, or, or endo or ortho like that's yeah. certain things I learned from ortho I brought to my dad to his attention he was like oh okay because you yeah. never got from yeah, like yeah. endo or general right, exactly. so you start piecing like piecing things, things together, together. yeah so because there's such a variety in this field right exactly. there's a lot of specialty a lot of opportunities exactly yeah so um yeah I, I can't stress enough like try to get as much shadowing in each different specialty but mostly i would say stick to general get as much as you can in general and then branch out to uh, other specialties. because there's also general dentists that like just stick to certain procedures right. like they don't go into the whole yeah. root canal or perio or mm -hmm. periprosthetics right. they just stick to fillings and extraction right. so that's what right. they like to do right. So also like, doing your research, you know, before you walk into an office, see what they do. Because right. the more variety, the, the better it is. Yes, and like yeah. every summer, mm -hmm. even learning about the business aspect yes, of dentistry. Aspect. Yes, that's true. You know? So business aspect, I, so like after I graduated from uh, college, uh, I my dad was like, man, because uh, his business was kind of struggling a little bit. And he wanted me to come in and learn the business. Oh and, wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. So I came in, learned the business, cause uh, off the top, that's like social media, or no, I'll say even social media, but I'll say like putting your your practice out there, right? Mm -hmm. You have certain people, like especially like people that put do like bad reviews on you. You might get like one or two, right? Hundred percent. So yeah. you're seeing like a one point five or two point, right? You know what I mean, so. And reviews are everything. Well, reviews and are social everything. media is everything right. now. Right. And they're like a lot of um, the older heads right. in dentistry specifically exactly. are not really up to date with marketing. That's a lot true. of offices are hiring they in-house marketers now. So true. Yeah. And even dental school, reality is we don't get a lot of we don't have time really for classes for business right. anyway. That's just, true. Yeah. You know. Yeah, we don't. So unless I mean, four year we'll learn a little bit. We'll get a little bit, but, but in terms of like actually running a whole practice is is stressful. But I mean. 
And then like So you started running like operations or you started what, yeah, what, like, yeah. you got that business like uh exposure a little bit? Yeah, but business felt like because my dad's a little bit older, right? So like he <laughs> he tends to forget a lot of things. So uh me being a specialist like interested in dentistry, he was like, okay, you can bring him in and see if, like if he can help me with the business. So I, I came in. Uh, I didn't even know when he he gave me that job responsibility. I had no idea how to what do, to do. do, what to do. But that's the best but, thing. That's yeah. the, you gotta take on the responsibility. Yeah, facts, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You have that's no true. like room. If you fail, your your dad's like hurt, right? Yeah, right? That's true. Yeah. So you start figuring out things, Figure ways, out, yeah. and like getting creative. I was, I was taking classes on uh, Coursera, yeah, IT, and trying to learn. Wow, man, I didn't know this yeah, at all. Yeah, that's good yeah, stuff. Yeah. So far, we've talked about business. And we've talked about clinical right. and they're both under this like umbrella of shadowing and working and exposure right. and, and dental schools love to see depth they want to see how long have you been exposed to the field of dentistry how long have you been working shadowing volunteering right. in under the umbrella of dentistry they want to see how committed this student has been yeah. so overall like even sunny's been talking about even just clinical one when you get exposed early you know if it's for you or not for you and if it is for you Start working at a variety of offices, get involved, get involved fast and early because it shows a lot of commitment to the field of dentistry and it's great for applications. And two, what Sunny's talking about, business. Business is one thing that is going to really help you out in the future, post dental school, right? And seeing different techniques, consulting companies, review companies, marketing strategies at different offices, you can use and absorb all the information is never like a bad thing. Yeah. You can never learn less. You can always yeah, learn more. You, can learn more. Exactly. you know what I'm saying? And then when you build a certain relationship with the certain dentist, oh, right? yeah, that, oh, they don't help huge. you. Oh my gosh, like so there's a rag, yeah, like, yeah, all that. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. Like, certain things that I didn't learn from my dad, I learned from other dentists, like that were my mentors. Like wow, that's so good. that's one thing you gotta do. Like try to like get out of your comfort zone. Cause like when you come in and shadow them, <laughs> but that's gonna be any dentist, even doctors, like they they don't know, like, okay, what you're here for, like... They you don't. Actually, they have yeah. no idea. You gotta, you gotta, like, <laughs> Dude, that's, like, that's a true like, fact. The yeah, doctors right. have, like, they're only looking at their column, their schedule, and they're like, the manager arranges all the right, shadowing exactly, stuff. Yeah, so they have yeah. no idea what's going on. Yeah. So, like, in a sense, when you work and commit, right. they're like, all right, he's part okay, of the team. He's part of the team. And whatever you need, even when you work at this office, that office, you match with a mentor that right. really sticks to you, yeah, really exactly. like will help you out, exactly, really yeah. cares like for your future. Right. Exactly, yeah. Dude, you're hundred good point. Right. That's, a, that's exactly. a very solid point. Like even like going to the dentist and taking X-rays, like like because I even if like I don't really know what to do, I'm, like, I, I they teach you. Yeah, I know how to do X-rays. I can do that, and then you like okay. I don't yeah, think, yeah, yeah. I don't think what you just said, like, I don't think you should be afraid. Yeah, don't be afraid. You yeah. should not be fearful of like, what if I mess up? Because right. to be honest with you, a lot of dentists out there, they would love to like take someone, under, like, a student under the wing and, right. and mentor and guide them like to what they've learned. Right, exactly. Like that extra thing, what to look for, how to take right. a bite wing, a right. PA. Yeah, yeah. All this stuff is like information and a feel and touch you're going to use in dental right, school. exactly. That's true. So suddenly, so anyway, to wrap things up, right? Mm -hmm. What's the one point you want to drive home to that next generation of students that can really, you know, something you had to go through mm. that you think will really like get them over that hump? Right. And just a word, it doesn't have to be really a shadow, just overall mm. general. Just overall. What's one thing that you really want to stick to that next generation of students? Uh, I'll say uh, do not have a fear of fear. Like, a tegophobia, like, it's big. Like, so, like, it's real. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, or me being a non traditional student, like, after college, I graduated with 2.7. I thought, <laughs> you feel me? Here. Same, Same yeah. here, 2.7 so, GPA. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> <Not fair>. License <laughs> plate 2.7. Right, 2.7, right. <laughs> But, uh, but you're 100% right, man. Yeah, don't, don't feel like, okay, life is over. Like, because I thought in undergrad, I was like, I was putting a lot on my plate, taking. Classes Four that were like, classes are like yeah, same. extremely hard, bioorganic, uh, psychology, uh, human anatomy, uh, physics, all, the, all in one. Physiology, yeah, physiology biochemistry, all that, like, microbiology, all of this. Take your time, like. Take your time. Take your time, a, take your time, bro. Your time bro. Listen, right. you've got to, listen, it's not like 
people are looking at the other lane and not right. looking at their own. Right, their own lane, exactly. You, so. Your your study, like for me, like even my masters, right. I was like, I could do an eighteen month, right. but why? Right, exactly. Let me do well. I'm here right. to do well. Exactly. I'm here to perform. Exactly. So yeah. take your time. Don't compare to other people, man. You right. come, exactly. dude. That's a yeah. you just exactly. dropped a, like a fact. Right. Facts, yeah. So that's why I did. I, like even like working and doing insurance, like I was taking other doing taking prereqs as well, like and trying to. Even the ones that I got B plus, at, I was I wanted to retake it and take it and get an A in it, and then um, later on I found like a master's program in Mississippi, and then I received my master's in biomedical science and uh, did extremely well in in that in that aspect, and then here it was yeah, your time. Yeah, now we made it, man. Yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, don't don't uh, don't uh, don't be, be fearful. Discord, don't be yeah, don't. Be fearful, don't uh, be discouraged. And but I mean, fear is a good thing. You feel me? Like, and in both of our stories, the shadowing, the experience, the yeah. death was there. Right. Academically, though, we had to prove ourselves that we're worthy. Right. right? Exactly. Yeah. But I don't think it was fearful of the course though. I think it was like excited and like I was ready to go. Like, right. I took that pressure and used it as a drive. Right. Right. Like, exactly. Is that what you like? What you did as well? Yeah, that's like, exactly what I did. Like, me going to. Uh, graduate program, I was like, okay, I gotta come in with a different mindset. It's like retraining a certain nuance in your brain. Priorities. To priorities. And, attention and, time. And exactly. And finding out good study habits. Like, 100%, um, bro. 100%. Like, you just gotta retrain your brain. Uh, retrain your brain. Retrain that middle of the. Do your middle. habits and your mind and your prioritization. Exactly. And like, Cause you might take like for me it will take like you know three days to learn a chapter maybe right, yeah. for someone else it might take like two hours. Right, exactly. but I don't care. Like, at the end of the day, we're gonna put that work in. Right, we're gonna right. get that done. Right. But to realize, to be honest with yourself, and highlight your like weaknesses, right. and this is what I need to work on. I think it's pretty important. You know, right, right. that's the only way we're gonna. Well, that's the only way we got to this point was like working on ourselves that way, right? So this is wraps up our interview with Sunny. Sunny, thank you for coming on, man. I really appreciate it. Appreciate it for having me. Dude, anytime, anytime. <laughs> if you guys have any questions for Sunny or any questions about his experience, his shadowing, his upbringing, his background, any questions you guys have, we'll do a part two if we need to, like always, and answer those questions. So hey, thanks again, my man. We're always in there, baby. Let's get it. See y'all next video. Peace.